priority. I call Jonathan Young. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I'm pleased to stand in support of the Credit Contracts and Financial Services Law Reform Bill here in its first reading, uh, sponsored by the Consumer Affairs Minister, Craig Foss. The package of reforms, sir, that uh, we are looking at in this bill was shaped by the Financial Summit, which was hosted on the 11th of August 2011 in Auckland, chaired by Sir John Anderson. And uh, that summit brought together 250 people from community groups, budgeting services, NGOs, banks and financial regulators, credit providers, and uh, <clears throat> they looked at ways of tackling particularly irresponsible lending that was particularly uh, offensive and affecting uh, people in uh, our economy and in our communities. Uh, the Financial Summit participants called for legislation to require responsible lending and for greater penalties for lenders who are not registered on the Financial Services Providers Register, which is under the company's office. And then in April uh, 2013, Minister Craig Foss introduced this uh, bill to the House. And here we are, sir, at uh, today's uh, reading of it, the first reading. The Consumer Credit and Financial Services Law Reform, it dovetails into the Consumer Law Reform Bill, which the Commerce Committee uh, spent considerable time uh, working on and adds to that uh, suite of uh, reforms and changes. Uh, indeed, it's not just in the Consumer Law Reform Bill, but right across the uh, scope of financial um, bills and uh, security bills that this Commerce Committee looked at, it contributes to that overall package. And the changes uh, introduced in this bill represent a, a comprehensive uh, crackdown on particularly unscrupulous uh, lenders who prey on desperate people and leave them and their families trapped uh, in that spiral of debt which uh, the previous speaker was talking about. Uh, Sir, National wants to, be, wants to have more informed borrowers and more responsible lenders, and it's important that we uh, approach this problem from both sides. Uh, responsible lending is absolutely essential. If people are going to have confidence to use credit, and the vast majority of, uh, of people do use credit, uh, then they need to understand or need to have that confidence that there's responsible lending taking place. Uh, I read some time ago that Professor David Mays, uh, who's a professor of banking and financial institutions at the Auckland University Business School, he said New Zealanders are average. He called us average, sir, when it comes to financial literacy. Uh, and that this is not a problem unique to our country, but it is a problem that we need to address. And uh, financial literacy uh, is an ongoing need for New Zealand because when people are financially literate, then they can have good judgment about borrowing and who to and who not to borrow from. So financial literacy is defined as the ability to make informed judgments and make effective decisions regarding the use and management of money. But, sir, we always know that there are people who are not financially literate, and that is where some people can take advantage of them through unscrupulous lending. And so we can't just put it out there that the country needs financial literacy. It also needs responsible lending as well. That's the other side of the equation. Some lenders have irresponsible lending practices and some consumers have make poor decisions. And so it's important that this bill contributes uh, to the, uh, the, the, the addressing of this issue and the vulnerability and the taking advantage of those vulnerabilities that some people have uh, done in the past. Under this bill, lenders must act responsibly. Consumers must have the information they need and to make informed decisions and that, they, and that there are serious consequences for those who breach the law. So, Mr Speaker, this legislation is a major overhaul of consumer law and I'm pleased that, uh, that the opposite party, the Labor Party, will be supporting it to select committee and I'm sure that we will go through this very, very well with a fine-tooth comb uh, in that committee to ensure that the consumer, of course, is the benefit of this legislation. The, pro the proposals in the bill complement reforms being progressed in the Financial Markets Conduct Bill as well that recently passed through this House, uh, also that a bill that was uh, undertaken and uh, reviewed by the committee. Uh, Mr Speaker, this bill is also part of the government's business growth agenda and will contribute to aligning business law uh, between New Zealand and Australia. Many of the changes are based on equivalent provisions in the Australian National Credit Code. And uh, it's fair to say that this uh, bill has already received wide consultation in the sector and no doubt, sir, uh, during the um, 
committee stage, we will continue to receive that consultation. So, sir, there's much to be said about this, and I believe that uh, as we go through uh, this, uh, the, this process in the committee stage and back into the House, we will see a very strong, robust um, law be put into place that will be, as I said before, benefit to consumers in New Zealand as a whole. Thank you, sir. Uh, the Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. Mr Speaker, um